If you're anything like me, Skyrim isn't the only Bethesda RPG that really puts your pickle in a jar. I remember when I was in the 8th grade and the excitement I felt when my mom brought me home the Fallout 4 pre-order on its release date. I have few video game memories like when I first slid that disc into my PS4. There's nothing like hearing that classic theme orchestrated by a non for the first time. But alas, that was quite some time ago, and even my nostalgia bias cannot make me ignore the facts. It's starting to become dated. If only there was something I can do about it. You can! First things first, go on and click the link in the description that will take you over to Pred Calibers Fallout 4, the ultimate graphings mod list for 2023. This is a really wonderful looking mod list that is really kind of not well known. I've never really heard of this before I found it. Uh, dropped Ice Cream did a cool little tutorial or showcase on it. Uh, but other than that, I've never really seen this. Um, first things first though, you just want to download the Wabajack file and then go to the description and download Fallout 4 script extender from here, the ENB binaries from here, and the reactor ENB preset from here. I've already downloaded all three of those, so I'm just going to go head over to my downloads. First things first, extract your Wabajack and run the Wabajack file. Uh, so run Wabajack. And then install from disk and install from that file. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. But you would just click on this file and it will install it like any other Wabajack list. From there, it'll give you this MO2. It is a measly 103 plugins. And then you have to install Script Extender manually. So then all you have to do is just copy all of the contents of this file into your regular Fallout 4 folder. It does not use the stock game feature. So just paste. It says I've already done it before. So I'm just gonna replace. Same thing with the ENB series, you want to extract to its own folder and go inside of the wrapper version and just copy both of these into your Fallout 4 folder. Same thing, I've already done it. And then lastly, extract your reactor to its own folder and inside copy the, oop, inside copy these. And one last time, do that as well. And then it will be fully installed and just launch your MO2 and run the game. It'll take a few seconds to launch. And that about wraps it up for today's video. Now this list is just a graphics only mod list so you can add anything to your desire to it. It doesn't even have UI mods attached with it. So yeah, if you liked what you saw today, please uh, drop a like and comment what else you would like me to do. I have a uh, cyberpunk. I can do modding for any game you want really. Uh, just let me know. As always, thank you for watching. Peace.